Hey guys, Fed or shit coins, who scams better? One of my favorite things about crypto is despite the shit coin scams, they've given us a very clear understanding of that granddaddy of token scams, the central bank. Shit coins, but for everybody in the world, like it or not. So there's a kind of crypto called a stable coin. Unlike Bitcoin, a stable coin isn't trying to go up. A $1 stable coin wants to be a $1 stable coin forever. No going to the moon, no Lambos, because the goal is to be a liquid dollar that's cheap to use. The trick with a stable coin is how do you keep it at $1? After all, supply and demand for the token fluctuates. Supply and demand for US dollars also fluctuates. More or less dollars are created. Savings change called the velocity of money. There are fundamentally two stable coin models. One is good, one is bad. The good model is backed. You back the stable coin with something real. Ideally, you'd back it with cash, a dollar stable coin backed by a single dollar. The problem is how do you make money as a stable coin company? So in practice, they'll park it in bonds that pay interest to keep the lights on. It's not as good as cash backing, but it does avoid user fees. And then the bad model, the algorithmic stablecoin. Here, you don't worry about matching the backing. You just jump in and buy and sell if the price wanders. If it goes to $1.01, you sell some, which pushes it down to $1. If it goes to $0.99, cents, you buy some, which hopefully pushes it back up to $1. This works in normal times, but the problem is if demand is evaporating fast. If it's headed to 90 cents or 80 cents, users may think you don't have enough money to keep buying, at which point you get a run, just like a bank that doesn't have the money. The coin goes to zero. This is what happened to the Terra algorithmic coin last year, and CoinSec keeps a tally of so far 23 failed stable coins. So good stable coins are backed, bad ones are algorithmic or manipulated. And that's where central banks come in, because the algorithmic stable coin is, you guessed it, a perfect imitation of a central bank. The Fed issues tokens, checks the price in the inflation numbers, and then buys and sells, using interest rates and balance sheet, to manipulate the price. Typically, they want 2% price inflation because voters accept it. Note, this is actually worse than algorithmic stable coins, because remember, the stable coin had some backing, just not enough. Central banks have essentially zero backing. A dollar is worth a dollar, like a snake eating its tail. You can't trade it in to the bank, to the central bank, for anything at all. Literally, there was a guy in the 1970s who tried. He sent his dollar to the Fed for redemption, and after several months, presumably figuring out what to do, the Fed mailed him back a freshly printed dollar. So why aren't there central bank runs? Easy, it's illegal for you to refuse their tokens. Called legal tender laws, these make it a crime to refuse debt payment in the government token. In fact, every US dollar has a phrase, this note is legal tender for all debts, public and private. That is a restriction on you. It feels like they're doing you a favor, but it is not. That is telling you, you must accept this plea. It means they can force you to give them literally anything for their tokens. Unlike Terra, nobody can refuse. The only central banks that do fail, like in Zimbabwe, are because people stop following the laws and even the police know it's ridiculous. So legal tender laws force is the key to fiat, the janky little bolt holding the whole thing together. Without legal tender laws, you'd be free to refuse their confetti. With legal tender, fiat graduates from standard crypto scam to world striding mega scam. All right, see you guys next time.